What's up you guys? Today we are doing another nutrition battle video and today our two competitors are going to be spinach and kale. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys check out the link in the pinned comment of this video and use the discount code AA10 to save 10% off of our new apparel at checkout because this is the last weekend that this apparel is going to be available for purchase. Now let's get back to these two superfoods. Spinach and kale have a very strong and positive reputation in the health and fitness world as being our best leafy green friends. We have them in our salads, on our sandwiches, in our eggs, in our smoothies, basically everywhere. But what we all want to know is which one is better? Let's start with kale. Kale is part of the cruciferous vegetable family which includes other vegetables such as broccoli and cabbage. A typical raw 100 gram serving of kale has just almost 50 calories, less than a gram of fat, about 9 grams of carbs, and over 4 grams of protein. The dark color of the leaves of this vegetable are indicative of its healthy nutrient complex and that it is loaded with vitamins and minerals. Kale is loaded with what we call anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Kale is specifically high in flavonoids and carotenoids. There are over 45 different flavonoids in kale, which is great. The carotenoids are mostly made of lutein and beta carotene. Now we have gone over antioxidants so much on this channel and their health benefits, so we know that it can help prevent many serious health complications, boost our good hormones, and improve our overall health. And the top three micronutrients in kale are vitamins K, a and C, so kale is a great option. Now let's talk spinach, the other dark leafy green. A typical raw 100 gram serving of spinach contains just over 20 calories, about half a gram of fat, just under four grams of carbohydrate, and about three grams of protein. Spinach is also loaded with disease preventing carotenoids and epoxy xanthophils. Epoxy xanthophils specifically help protect against prostate cancer, and spinach also contains beta carotene, lutein, and zeaxanthin. Spinach also contains a good amount of flavonoids, but not as many as kale. Spinach is also filled with glycoglycerolipids, which are very good for the digestive tract. The top three nutrients in spinach are vitamins K, a and manganese and it also has a nice balance of other micronutrients including calcium magnesium again manganese and vitamin e but let's get into some specific differences here in order to make our final decision on the matter kale is more overall total calories carbohydrates protein and fat content which technically makes it more calorie dense than spinach now this is extremely minor and almost irrelevant and this could either be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you analyze it and even though it is higher in calories it is also higher in certain micronutrients which kind of evens it out. It is much higher in vitamin C which is great for its anti-inflammatory properties and calcium for bone health. Spinach is higher in folate which can be particularly beneficial to anyone who is deficient in that specific nutrient. Spinach is also higher in iron which is important for people with a deficiency and it is also higher in magnesium which is a great muscle relaxant and can help us sleep. As far as taste goes guys this will mainly remain an opinion based matter and will depend on the individual consuming it. And because these foods are virtually prepared the same way the two are basically the same in this category. So who wins? This was a very tough decision because both foods offer a lot of micronutrients and obviously we want to be consuming both in the diet. But my winner is spinach and why? Because the macronutrient complex of kale is almost irrelevant as most of our calories are not going to be coming from it. So that really doesn't matter. Spinach is higher in iron than kale and is also higher in magnesium which is great for helping us sleep, relax, and help with muscle cramps. Now obviously kale is also higher in calcium, which also helps with muscle cramps, but spinach is also slightly higher in potassium, which will also help fight those cramps. Other than these slight differences, they are very similar, so it was very hard to choose between the two. But if you can, guys, get both in your diet. So I hope you guys liked this video, and if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss a new video upload from us. Make sure to leave a comment down below with your favorite of these two. And also guys, we are on Instagram, so go follow us on there and check out that apparel in that comment below. All right guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.